You know, I've always liked old movies, and uh, for some reason, here on YouTube and the other platforms that I'm on right now, I've uh, always wanted to say this. The gig is up, say. That's right. The gig is indeed up, or at least the time is coming when it will be, as Disney is facing a kind of a crisis when it comes to Disney+. Plus. On this Tech Tuesday, we're going to see what that ticking time bomb is and uh, just uh, what exactly it could do to Disney's stock. Let's take a look at the dirty little shell game. Here we go. I've been saying this for a while, at least when it comes to Disney and their Disney Plus platform, that, uh, well, it's maybe not all it's cracked up to be, at least on the financial side of things. It's ARPU isn't quite what it should be because the average revenue per user should be getting closer to, you know, the actual subscription cost, less pass throughs, etc., etc. Disney's nowhere close to that, and they're constantly maneuvering to make it appear like they're gaining subscribers at a decent clip. Well, even beyond that, at an unbelievable pace. And it, uh, well, it's a bit of a shell game, and it has always been for Disney. They're about to come up on a period of time where they will drop a significant portion of their subscribers who, well, they signed up for a three-year plan three years ago August, and, uh, well, that's going to disappear. But there's something more immediate than that that's been actually introduced into the equation, and it's a little manipulation that was done not that long ago to incorporate another platform in Disney+. Plus. Let's take a look at the article from Variety's VIP, and I'll show you what I mean. The ticking time bomb that could undercut Disney stock, and I think this is a creative picture here, and you'll see why in a moment. Disney subscriber numbers, or Disney Plus subscriber numbers, have been the source of optimism in the industry, increasing every quarter, while Netflix grabs the headlines for missing its estimates and its very slight subscriber declines. Well, they're about to have a larger one in the near future, but we'll get to that down the road. Yet, this success in part is due to a decision that has the potential to backfire on par with Netflix's recent stock tribulations. And I agree. You can see this growth chart here showing uh, Disney and Disney Plus Hotstar global subscribers and uh, what has actually taken place. You see, some 36% of Disney Plus subscribers, according to the article here, are uh, essentially subscribers to a, another service. That's right. They're subscribers to Disney Plus Hotstar which they that has existed in India prior to Disney Plus and of course it was rebranded with the Disney Plus content added to give the main service a big boost as far as the sub numbers go again don't invest because of sub numbers but I'll move on by folding Hotstar into Disney Plus and then being able to claim a total Disney Plus subscribers as a larger figure Disney succumbed to the pressure of demonstrating that its streaming service could be competitive with Netflix and, of course, with the other streaming services that are doing the same thing, growing incrementally. But Disney content is not the core driver of Hotstar subscriptions, and this is where we get into some crazy. You see, they control, right now, the streaming rights for the Indian Premier League, the massively popular cricket domestic league in India. It's the equivalent, according to this article, of if Hulu held exclusive NFL streaming rights for all games. And as you can see here from the breakdown of ARPU, uh, things are not exactly rocking the box. Um, in the latest report figures for the calendar period of Q1 2022, there was little difference in monthly ARPU for Disney Plus users located in the US and Canada which is $6.32, versus the rest of the world, which is $6.35. Yet the figure for Hotstar alone is $0.76. Cents. We've been talking about that $0.70 cents number for a while. Yeah, it's, uh, it's coming from places like this, but we'll keep going. 
So it's basically eight times smaller, the uh, normal international figure. And that's for a huge number of subscribers. But like sports rights in the US, the IPL rights are expensive in that local market with a base price for the total rights packages set at 4.2 billion with a B and it could very well end up being a lot more expensive than that. And do you know why that's a problem? Because starting June 12th, which is just a few days from now, these rights are going to be auctioned. And this period of time they'll be auctioned for is 2023 through 2027. And as you can see here, that would cost Disney $847 million a year to acquire these rights for the quote unquote estimated cost of 4.2 billion it's a lot of dough sony and amazon of course are right there trying to uh get in the game as far as bidding for these rights so you can imagine that uh pretty much all of the global players are gonna want to upset the apple cart for disney it's not a given that Disney's going to overspend to maintain the IPL rights for Hotstar. The company's latest quarterly earnings call, CEO Bob Chappick, said that the company would be cutting content spend. Well, you're not going to have a lot of content in the market in India if you cut this or if you don't win the bidding. But hey, just my opinion here. Chappick also noticed in the call that he was confident Disney Plus would achieve its ultimate subscriber goal, and this makes me laugh, of 230 million to 260 million global subs by September of 2024. And that would be with or without the Hot Star streaming rights for the IPL. That's insane. Chappick's comments effectively place Disney in a difficult position that exposes the vulnerability in its stock. If Disney pays up to keep the uh, IPL on Hotstar, then that outlay will negatively impact what, uh, well, that very, very low ARPU and be unfavorably viewed by, of course, investors. Well, I'm already viewing a lot of this stuff unfavorably, but that's just me <laughs> anyway. But if it doesn't pay for those rights, then the possibility of losing somewhere between 20 and 30 million global subs for Disney Plus Hotstar, well, that's significant. That drops 20 or 30 million that they absolutely desperately need and would immediately destroy the stock price for Disney overall because of how much weight has been put on the subscriber numbers for Disney Plus. So coming up on what I would consider a accurate conclusion drawn by this article, the following paragraph, which is ultimately what Disney does here could be a test of whether investors truly value profitability over sheer subscriber volume. And that may be a tall order given the dramatic drop Disney Plus could experience in its subscriber base. And this was always, always a catastrophe waiting to happen. Always. At least Netflix had a legitimate reason for its Q1 drop of subscriber count, the cessation of business in a given country. Uh, of course, that was because of its invasion of another country, and we're not really supposed to talk about that here on YouTube. That did set off the chain of events, which led to a drop in overall valuation for Netflix. Uh, it fell $89 per share, if you remember. Um, that was insane. That was just over the course of uh, after hours trading, uh, just after the announcement. So it took a 25% hit right away. And it's even slid further down to somewhere between $180 and $190 right now. Disney's own stock has been down about 25% over the last three months. In fact, it's currently sitting, as I am sitting here right now, the day before you see this video, at $107.95. It's down about two thirds of a percent for the day. Not doing good, Disney. So losing the IPL would shake investor confidence in Disney's ability to hit their total subscriber count, which never should have been the thing you were aiming for. Uh, damage control in this situation, and of course, I think it's coming. Uh, that's going to be the most important thing that, uh, that Disney does in the next quarter. Uh, cause let me tell you, well, I should say in the quarter that's affected by this because, uh, they may dodge this bullet in the coming quarter after that, who knows? I don't suspect Disney's going to be able to give us stellar numbers in the upcoming quarter. And I think that the following quarter in which this will probably take place will be catastrophically 
devastating. And then we go into, well, the quarter after that, when the numbers uh, from the drop in subscribers from the quote unquote churn of August, which I promise is coming, uh, well, <laughs> that's, that's going to be precipitous as well. But hey, what do you think? Do you think that events like this, because of some poor decision making, uh, will lead to, uh, well, decreased valuation for Disney? Or do you think that my assessment that uh, tying your anchor to the total number of subs is a little overblown? I'm willing to accept either answer, but I'd like to hear from you. So put the comments down below here uh, in the comment section, and I will be glad to engage with you. Uh, with that being said, support other independent creators here on the platform. I would truly appreciate it, and I know they would too. They've been working awfully hard to counter a lot of what the lamestream media out there is putting in place, and uh, the corporate content creators do not have your best interests in mind. In fact, some of the platforms that you see content on don't have your best interests in mind, but uh, that's another story. And with that being said, please check out my new channel, the Cultured Builds uh, DIY channel that I just put together. Uh, second video coming on Wednesday. I believe that's the eighth. So do check that out. Uh, a little bit of a, uh, an easy, easy project for how to... Um, take your gardening trellis to the next level. Let's just put it that way. And to wrap up like I always do, be sure to take care of yourself, take care of others, wash your hands, of course, because it is good hygiene. And until next time, bye. Thanks for visiting today. Be sure you're subscribed and hit that for alerts. Yay! Of course, like and share all of the videos that you can as it helps with the algorithm. Have a great day.